The films include a Deep Impact, a Soldier's Daughter Never Cries. You can see her in the new movie Never Been Kissed. And next month, she's starring in the CBS miniseries Joan of Arc. Please welcome Lili Sobieski. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Are you, are you a little nervous? A little bit, for a sure. Little, well, that's okay. You can be nervous. Sure, sure. Interesting name. Lili Sobieski. Yes. See, I'm glad you didn't change your name. You didn't go to one of those, you know, like a Hollywood name. With a last name Star, right? Star or something yeah, like that. No, exactly. no, no. I like that. What, what's the origin of that name? Um, Lili comes from my French grandmother, Lilianne, who's very Parisian, whatever oh. that's supposed to mean. Yeah. And then uh, Ruta Bay is actually my dad's ex-girlfriend. Boy, this is really complicated here. Who's okay. <laughs> well, good friends with the family now. Then Gloria is, is my grandmother, who's not with us anymore. And I, I've never met her, but I just picked that name. I put that one in myself when I was about five. And then since my mother said, well, my first name is, uh, my, fr my daughter's first name is my mother-in-law's name, and her middle name is my husband's ex-girlfriend's name, shouldn't she have her, her real middle name? have something to do with me. So she picked Elzwieta, which means Elizabeth in Polish, although my mother's American. And then... You know, I don't think we have time for your whole name, actually. I, just, I mean, I just, it, just, it just seemed like a curious... Uh... Let me ask you how you got started in showbiz. That's probably shorter than your actual name. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I was Because in... you're only 16 years old. I mean, and, and you know, you're an incredibly poised and wonderful actress. I mean, it's hard for me. I, 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 I talk to you like you're 29 or something, but you're, you're only 16, so... It's... Only 16. But no, I don't mean... I mean that in a good way. Is that insulting if I say, I mean... No, that's no, great. No, okay. Best compliment in the world. I mean, where were you, dis were you discovered? Were you a, a kid actress? I mean... No, no. I always wanted to be a painter or a writer, which is what my parents do. Right. And I was in my school cafeteria in New York, and there was a casting director who was there, Woody Allen's casting director. No. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke there, but I'm not going to touch it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and you just got literally plucked out of the cafeteria. I, I did, and I decided to give it a try. First, I was horrible, though. I was really awful. I had no idea what it was, but then, you know, it's like this pack of cards fell out of sky into my lap, and it said, here, play poker. And I tried, and I didn't know how to play, so I lost. And then I said, well, here, I have these chips, so I learned right. how to play the game, and then I started to, I guess, start well, to work I mean, out that's well. That's amazing at age 16. What, what are your friends? Like, I mean, obviously, you had a, a normal childhood, I guess, somewhat. Do your friends, are they impressed by your career? Uh, the friends from childhood, they always go to see my films, which is really good. And then my friends that are just high school friends, uh, they don't really go to see my films. And I said, well, why didn't you go to see Soldier's Daughter Never Cries? It's, it's about a, a teenager growing up. You know, it's not a typical right. Merchant Ivory film. You, you should have gone to see it. You would have enjoyed it. And they always say, well, you didn't go to my basketball games. <laughs> see, see, so, yeah, you exactly. didn't hang out at Dairy Queen. when uh, Exactly. Yeah, so there you are. Now, you collect unusual things, too. What was this? You, you collect... Uh... I collect hair. You collect hair. I collect hair. I mean, hair from... From celebrities that I work with. Now, why? Why do you do that? You... Um, because at first I wanted an autograph. I wanted Tim Allen's autograph. Right. And I realized that autographs are sort of impersonal, so I wanted a, a hair. It sort of, it has your DNA, but it's not blood. It doesn't hurt to, to take hair. <laughs> why do you want people's DNA? That's real scary. <laughs> More frightening. I got, some, I got some for you. <laughs> It's, uh, I don't think a belly button lint counts. <laughs> it's, it's Don Johnson's, I just thought I'd... <laughs> it's Don Johnson. Really? Really? I got oh. some... Hmm. And, and well, can I have a piece of your hair, Jay? Is that what these scissors are for? You want to... I, I think so. I'm a little bit afraid to do this here, but... Well, right, well here, what do you want? No, but don't take it off the front. Don't take my From the back. back. From oh, the back. All right, you got to come around here. All right, here you go. Okay. I'm glad we're not doing this in a hotel room. Jay Leno, 16 year old. Now don't leave a big ball spot. I must be out of my oh, mind. Being very careful. <laughs> Just don't mix it up with Schneider's hair. I got it. Hey, hey, hey. Now tell me about the. Uh... Get rid of this. Now I understand you ran into Monica Lewinsky. I did. You were you were at the Vanity Fair the Vanity Fair party. party. I was walking around. I was kind of in a strange mood, and Minnie Driver, who I was introduced to earlier, said, um, "Are you looking for the bathroom?" And I said... Well, that's a good mini driver. Oh, yeah. thank you. Go ahead, yeah. And I said, I said, I, I guess so. So I followed her to the bathroom, and there was a long line, and she said, Oh, no, there's a line. How horrible. 
And I said, yes, very horrible. And then she said, wouldn't it be funny if Monica Lewinsky walked out and was in the bathroom? And then Monica Lewinsky walks out. And she goes against the wall like this, and her eyes are shoot. She's like, oh my god, Monica Lewinsky heard me make fun of Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> and, and Monica Lewinsky says, oh my god, Minnie. I thought you were such a great actress. I really have admired your work for such a long time. And I guess that sounds kind of strange coming from me, but I really admire you as an actress. And Minnie Drive said, not at all. That's such a great compliment. I really, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then uh, Monica Lewinsky left, and Minnie Driver leaned in and said, oh, my God. I almost said I admire your work as well. <laughs> But then I went into the bathroom, yeah. and I realized that the left stall of the Vanity Fair brother, there's two stalls. Mm -hmm. And the left stall, first Monica Lewinsky went in and used the ladies' room, then Minnie Driver, and then myself. That's kind of strange. Yeah, if you look at it that way. <laughs> but, but in L.A., they have seat covers. We don't have those in New York. They don't give seat covers in, in all the public bathrooms. No, in New York, you're lucky you just don't sit on the bowl with anything on it. <laughs> Now, now, the movie, Never Been Kissed, obviously, this looks like a terrific film. It is. It's yeah. a very good film. Very charming. Well, listen, I, I'm sorry we don't have time for the clip here. We, now, will, will you come back and see us again? I will. Uh, you're a wonderful guest. And, I'd love and to. And a delightful young lady. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Thank you. Much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.